Officers from the UT Austin Police Department are back from Odessa. They were sent to help after a gunman killed seven people and hurt dozens more just blocks away from the UT System campus there. Their special division was formed just a few weeks ago to respond to mass shootings and terroristic threats. KXAN's Phil Prazen spoke with their sergeant. The kitchen guy at an Odessa restaurant left this note the day before officers returned to Austin. Thank you for leaving your home to come and protect ours. Yeah. You know, we're forever grateful. I didn't think about, you know, uh, my wife and uh, <clears throat> My daughter here. Sergeant Hector Luvano leads Team 2 on the University of Texas Police Department's Public Order Division, the officers responsible to respond to active threats on UT Austin's campus. They just began in August and have been going through weekly training, but this weekend brought real world experience. The, the different puzzle pieces, when you look at it and, and stand back and how vast, how vast it can be. Uh, even the simplest role of, of helping someone cross the street or being there is, is just as important. On Monday, they were responsible for guarding and preserving the two dozen crime scene locations. On Tuesday, they were stationed around UT Permian Basin, so students felt safe returning to campus after the Labor Day weekend. You can't revert back to Saturday at noon, right? So um, it's just to kind of help them get, come back on Monday and Tuesday. And, and begin the healing process. UT Austin freshmen are already required to go through training for active shooters. For their police department, it's part of their everyday job. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. On Monday, the division will oversee the public civilian response to active shooter event training to teach students what to do if an Odessa-style shooting happens at UT Austin. It'll be from 2.30 to 4 p.m. There are three more public training events scheduled for the fall semester. Governor Abbott promised action, and today he delivered eight executive orders. He wants the Department of Public Safety to create guidelines for law enforcement so officers know what to do with reports that someone has the potential to commit large-scale violence. He's telling DPS to develop standard intake questions and clear guidance so officers know when and how to submit reports to the Texas Suspicious Activity Reporting Network. He also wants officers trained on those new standards and a plan to inform the public and schools about how it will work when they report a potential gunman. And he wants local law enforcement, mental health professionals, and school districts to create threat assessment teams. The orders also call for increased staffing at fusion centers, where local, state, and federal law enforcement share information and respond to suspicious activity reports. They'll also be monitoring and analyzing social media and online forums for potential threats.